Hi everybody, good morning, this is Jean here um, from True Love Quilts For You. Um, um, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on the last uh, day or so, yesterday and today. Um, as you know, I, I'm doing my block party and that's very um, uh, bl uh, precise and uh, measuring and to being precise and if, if you've also been following me you know I've been doing um, I had done my Lone Star so I was following a specific pattern and being really uh, careful with my measurements and everything and uh, uh, the, the, the um, project my Lone Star turned out lovely I really like that and I'm enjoying the block party very very much um, but sometimes I get a bit fed up with patterns and with uh, piecing and with uh, blocks and the expected um, and I just quite like to sometimes make something small um, I a lot most of the things I make are very large but um, sometimes I'm thinking I don't want to make a big huge quilt and so I, 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 I you often think well how about a baby quilt so I got thinking about a baby quilt and I went back to my actually I went back to my um my site my um store and I've actually made something very similar and I've sold uh, two of them I believe uh, what I'm going to show you this pretty fabric I made it more with like a, a pendant and banners I, I, I explain that to you later but I just wanted to show you and following this little introduction is me making this quilt um, yesterday and today and I give you not uh, I, I suppose a tutorial in how I do certain things a little bit um, outside of perhaps somebody's comfort zone how I just put things together and how it turns out I quite like the way it turns out I've been collecting I have a lot of scraps 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 and I was wondering I'm thinking I want to I want to use up some of these bright scraps I have so um, this is what I came up with. I hope you can see it. It's a little baby quilt, I guess. Um, I didn't, I explained to you, I didn't want to have to piece my backing. I, so I, I, I just cut this small. <laughs> so it's just a hunk of backing, a, a, a hunk of fabric on the backing. Um, real pretty. It's spring, well, it's not springtime yet, but it will be springtime birds. And as I say in my little uh, to follow, um, that sort of the bird on the wire is sort of a trend in pillows and decorating. I, I, I've done it a, a couple times. It's sweet, um, but I I wanted more of a, 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 a more of a fantasy folk folky look um, to my quilt. Um, not serious at all. You know, my Lone Star was like so serious, and my blocks. Let's get them right. And I, this, I just winged it. Uh, this is uh, it's a fusible raw raw edge interface, uh, raw edge applique, which I show you how to do. But I've also, if you notice, um, I added rickrack around the edging, and I've I've changed up the color of my binding. I'll show you closer on the finished product, but and then you'll see it as I go along. The, this binding up here is yellow. The two sides are white, and the bottom. Is the dark brown with the and then I put the dark brown rickrack, the white rickrack, and the yellow rickrack to look like the sunshine. <laughs> it's just in my brain. And then the real pretty birds and the flowers. I did use and I will be showing you. I did use my Accu quilt. These are dies. Um, I did cut out the one. I did cut out this bird out of a bit of cardboard and did it. But I've I've I used on um, the interfacing and my scraps, my Accu quilt. This is a die. The flower, the flowers are a die. The the three birds are a die. The three uh, hor horizontal birds are a die. And that little dog at the bottom is a die that I have. Um, I've accumulated my my little dies. So it's a baby quilt, a little throw quilt, a little whimsical quilt. Um, so that's what I've been working on, more of an art quilt, but I show you how m m my brain works um, when I just want to create something. Um, yeah, not like, I mean, it's a quilt, it's a quilt, but it's not like pieced block, um, uh, it's, a, it's a quilt. <laughs> So it, maybe you can maybe you can take something away from from what is to follow. So that's my little project. 
I was working on it yesterday and today. Um, free motion quilted around all of the bits of the sky fabric. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put my bits up that I've I've been working on and try to splice them all together, and you'll be seeing this. And I'll, I'll also show you up close the the finished product, uh, some of the um, the stitching. So um, yeah, so that's what I've been been doing. Hope you enjoy it the last few days. So I hope you're having a lovely day. It's lovely and cold here um, in Pennsylvania, um, but it's gonna get warmer only what 50 more days to spring or something like that I read so anyway have a lovely day folks thanks for watching bye buddy um I wanted to share with you a project that I'm working on um I wanted just to make a small quilt um I've set my camera up this way so you can usually it's this way or that way but um I wanted to show you sort of what I'm I'm thinking I wanted to just make a small maybe a baby quilt um and I've made I've made something like this before and I've actually done it with you'll see what I'm saying with like banners like with pennants this is like a sky fabric I don't know if you can see it it sort of is a pale blue with clouds and it's 42 inches wide I guess I don't because I just want to make a small quilt um, um, I think I got about a yard and a half what I'm going to do is I just want to use another piece of just one piece of fabric I don't want to piece the backing so what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to show you I'm not going to cut it yet I'm just going to I'll just cut this off probably about seven or eight inches make it smaller I'll just cut that edge off I'll just show you how I'm, I'm gonna maybe make this cut that selvage off um, what I've done is I've actually used my Accu quilt cutter again. I, I, I've used it for my Lone Star, for my appliques, if you remember. And this time, I have a, a die that's um, it's called Birds. And there's three different bird images here on this die. And what I've already done, um, I've, I've, um, I've actually cut out quite a few from very, very bright... Uh, K for facet fabrics actually real bright bright patterns not bird like at all I, what I want I'm thinking in my mind is more of a like a more of a fantasy fantasy quilt here tons and tons of color on the sky background so the birds will go nicely so I've put the paper the, the fusible bad the fusible f um, inter the fusible interfacing on the back the web I should say and I'm ready, to, and I've ironed it on, and I've cut out a bunch of these images. Um, I've cut out the birds. I've cut out quite a few of the wings that comes with the die. And I've just cut out myself some uh, green leaves. And what I'm going, oh, and I also cut out, a, a, this. These, these are three birds, but I also cut out just a piece, I just drew it myself on a piece of card, um, this, this bird image, more of a vertical. These were more... These were more horizontal birds. So what I'm going to do, as I said, I've done this before, with a whole bunch of different color um, rickrack. I'm going to take um, pieces of rickrack, and basically, you've probably seen them on like Pinterest or somewhere. Like um, it's pretty trendy, like bird on the bird on uh, bird on a wire. Um, so what I've, I what I had done before is, and I sold quite a, a couple of them. I made like a triangle piece of like a pennant, like a banner, um, and I've I've actually hung the the pennant um, just across like a, a sky fabric. Um, but this time I'm I'm doing birds. I made one for my friend Jen actually. It was funny for her for when her son Parker was born. So what I do is I'm just going to lay out. I just have all these different color. Um, Rick rack. I'm using. I like using jumbo rick rack, but for this one, I'm using a medium size rick rack. And I think the. I think the. Um, what you would think we'd do is probably probably use um use like brown right for to. But I'm again. I'm doing this more of like a fantasy a fantasy um look. And I'm just going to lay it out to give you an idea and me an idea because I'm. I'm not sure um, of, of, of how how it's gonna 
how I, I might be designing it. So, so, um, oh yeah, I just have enough of this. I've had, I've been using Rick Rack, you know, I, I like Rick Rack, if you know, um, forever. So I just have that piece. And then I have a blue. And I have to figure out the size, um, because I, I think what I also have, I think I have a die that is like flowers. And I might actually cut out on my AccuQuilt flowers coming, going up the bottom of the quilt. Um, so let me just start out with that type, that, that look. I, like, I quite like that. Um, so I, what, I, what I'll do is I'll start just putting my, my bird images on the on the on the branches as such I have all different colors and as I say this is obviously extremely extremely colorful and um fantasy like so I'll just keep continuing doing that I've got brown I've got blues blue hot pinks yellows and then, and then what I'll do is I'll start putting the, um, I'll start putting the actual, f the, um, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, the wings on these birds. Just up and down, no, no rhyme or reason. Again, they came, they came with this. Um, uh, probably like a, I'll probably do like contrasting, obviously, because as I said, they're just sort of fantasy birds. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. You can get the idea. Do it, do a couple of them. I might even with a, um, I might even with a brown Sharpie uh, or a, a brown fabric pen make little legs. I might do that, but you can see it coming along now. My camera's going to go off, so I'll just be right back with the I'll, I'll, I'll mess around with my birds see how what configuration I like and how many I want on each um, on each uh, branch as as as, 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 it, as it is here um, so I'll mess with that I might not even have it like that but but what I'm gonna what I'm gonna hope to do let me see I, I think you know, we just have to look at the colors, the colorways. Now, what I'm going to do is with my green leaves that I cut out, I'm just going to place one uh, or two or three um, at a, like an intersection. There's three there. I just cut these out. I just backed a piece of, I uh, just backed two different color greens. I, I might have another, a couple more greens. Um, uh, fabrics that I just ironed the, the uh, web to and uh, I'll just lay out these I'll just lay out the uh, the leaves here yeah I'll need, I'll need more leaves um, but look how it's coming alive it's just really it's really sweet it's really pretty I may make it even a little bit smaller um, yeah, and I'll I'll keep adding. I think the I think the little uh, I th think the little wings add a tremendous amount. If you you probably can't see from that distance, um, but these little wings just add this lovely little little uh, pop of color. I'm like it. Like I said, like it needs a pop of color. <laughs> Me and my pops of color. Um, but it's a whimsical. It's a sweet little whimsical quilt. Um, nothing nothing serious. It won't take me long because now what I do is I'll actually take this over to um, my I'll, 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 I'll mess with the placement I'll mess with the placement and I might even um I might uh um I, I think I might do the the um the dye which is flowers coming up from the bottom I think it's sweet and then what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this 
look at my quilts in like two minutes it's done it, well, it's not done but um I like this configuration it's whimsical it's pretty I'll probably put some flowers down below with maybe a bit of green rickrack or even brown down there um, cut this off. I'll take a picture of it, cut it off. I quite like that, but I'll mess with it, take these off. And then if I, once I get the pattern down, then all I do is I will take, like I did with my Lone Star, if you remember the applique, I'll just take this, I'll, I'll peel this off very carefully. And um, having pinned my, what I'll do is I'll pin the, the, um, the rickrack down and then I'll very, very carefully um, take these, take a picture of it, and then I'll, I'll stitch with my wavy stitch. I'll have to get my brother machine out with my wavy stitch. I'll stitch down my rickrack, and then I'll come back and refer to my photograph of where the little birds are. And then I'll just, I'll just um, peel the backing off, and I'll hand press them down, and then I'll take it over to my ironing board, and iron all my raw edge applique down my leaves um and then what what i'll do after that's all done um and maybe perhaps the flowers down here um then i all i will do is i'll back it and i'll sandwich it with the batting and then with a free motion quilting i'll just go around all of the birds and maybe the cloud images and uh and then it'll be done and like the flowers so this is a lot like it's just an art quilt. Sometimes, you know, I get up fed up with piecing and I just want to I just want to do something um, a little bit, you know, a little bit fantasy, but easy, 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 easy. It's a hunk of fabric with some birds stuck on it. So um, I'll see how it goes. Um, but this is sort of like the general idea of my quilt that's coming. I'll try to zoom in a little bit better for you. I'll show you what I'm doing here. You're, you're seeing it upside down in my sewing room. Let me try to bring my camera over here. So you'd get the general idea of my little quilt. Let me see if it's, yeah, it's pretty much in, in thing. So you can see that it's just a pretty little, a silly little quilt. And down here, as I was saying, I might find my down below on the, uh, as it's hanging over. I'll see if I can have a, a, um, some, like some stylized flowers I'll probably put down there. Um, having cut this and, and uh, stitched on my, my, my rickrack and placed my little birds on their little colorful perches. I might put the brown little feet with a, a fabric pen. I may or might not. Um, but yeah, that's that's just a little a little fun quilt that is in the making. So um, I'll I'll keep you I'll keep you I'll, I'll 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 film some more when I when I'm doing it and uh, you can see my progress. Okay, thanks, folks. Bye. I have a general idea of where I want my my wires to be and I've just put a pin um, just 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 you know loosely on my wires but what I have to do is I've already started um, I've just got to cut uh, I've, I have obviously all of this excess rickrack here um, I'm just going to cut my just just um, just going to cut this rickrack off like that take that what I've what I've done is I've taken my my these are my remaining birds I might add a few, one or two more what I've done is I've actually taken a photograph I, whatever and I've made like there was five one two three four five wires and there was about four or five six birds on each I've just taken them and and put them in piles over there but I, but I'll mess around but these are this is how my rickrack is going to go I like that and what I've done is I've snipped the bottom of this quilt here and I, I probably will add the add some flowers but it probably I'll probably cut a little bit off the bottom and just have the flowers here but I'm going I just snipped the, the, the quilt here and all I'm going to do is I've started <laughs> I'm just going to rip I'm going to rip the quilt to the size that I, I want. Or it's a little bit bigger. But um, basically, that's how wide I want it. Because now I can just, I can just um, 
not have not have a uh, um, to piece my backing. So I'll just pin I'll just pin this these wires as it, as as it is now. Just pin these wires here, and then um, I'll get my other machine out, and I will I will with a wavy stitch. With a wavy stitch, I'll stitch these down. I just wanted to show you that I've now, I'm just holding my camera, um, I've just um, stitched down with a zigzag stitch. I got my brother machine out. Um, I had to use the curvy stitch. Put my jukey away for just a few minutes. Um, I've just stitched down with a matching thread my uh, rickrack my wires and um I did take off off the bottom of this I did take off about four inches and then on the side I ripped off that selvage and I squared it up my quilt and now what I'm doing is I'm just um I had taken a photograph of it slightly I'm I'm I'm, I'm um may be following it or may not um I'm just gonna be attaching the birds on their little wires, their little perches. I'm going to be taking off the backing and finger hand pressing them onto their wires and then um, I will, after I'm done affixing them and un ironing them on, I'll, I'll paint their little feet. I'll um, sharpie their little feet in. Not now I very carefully have taken this over to my ironing board. I've just sort of pressed, taken off the backing of these, the um, app, the uh, raw edge applique, the the um, uh, paper, the web. And what I'm going to do is I folded this up very neatly. Maybe it'll end up on a, a mess on the floor. <laughs> but what I've done, let me pull this out, is I've um, I've just folded this up neatly. I've just taken away. I'm just going to try to affix these pieces down. I'll just do it gently to begin with and work my way work my way up. Now let me just see if this works. I just sort of folded this. I'll go back and really fix that these this applique on well. This is just to sort of hold it there and just see if this works. Just peel back a little bit at a time. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. My second, my second row. My ironing board, as you know, is over here, and I was just, uh, I was working over there. So I'll just, I'll just put these. Whoops, 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 whoops. Might not be the best way to do it, but this is all I'm trying to do now is just get a, a, a little bit of a fix. On these appliques and I know they those won't fall off now roll it back gently a few of the uh, I got a few of the leaves came off I can just fix that that's there that was there this birdie was up here it's worked out pretty good I know these leaves, I think, were there. These were over here. So again, I'll just, I'll just hit, I'll just hit this um, with my iron. I've only worked on this quilt for, well, literally the few minutes that you've seen. Um, as I said, it, oh, where did that go? I'll stick that there. It's more of an art quilt, just a, just a collage, a raw edge collage. So then I'll, oops, roll this back down. Now I haven't yet cut out my flowers, but I'll show you, I'll show you that step when I get to it. He's stuck on there pretty good. Um, 
Actually, not as well as my, uh, my other applique. It's funny. But it's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. But once they're glued down, I'm telling you, they really stick. They really stay. I'll put my little feet on there. Just iron that. Oops. I'll go back and really set that glue. And I believe this is my last row. Yeah. So I'll just sort of fix this one. Put that blue one there. Put, let me see, where were these? See, I, 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 there's no real, you know, method. It's just, just some birds going that way, some going this way. And, uh, whoops, whoops, <laughs> put that over here. Oh, it went up, oh yeah. Oh, oh well. <laughs> that one completely, that one completely, I got a bit on my iron. Oh, well, I gotta put another leaf on there. And then my bird over here. Hey, <laughs> look, that don't ever get iron on a web, an iron on web facing. <laughs> That's funny. I gotta get another leaf over there. I might add a few more leaves. But let's just see. So there we go. My little my appliques. I'll I'll really go down and I'll I'll really fix them on. But look, I have delightful little birds. Birds in the air. Um birds on my little wire. And uh yeah, so that's that part of my quilt. So I've attached all of my birds up on their up on their wires up there. I've ironed them all on. And as you can see, I have a little bit of a flower garden going on down here. I haven't put I haven't fixed these on yet. And <laughs> look what I have in the corner. <laughs> a little dog, a little, little patch of grass. Now I this is my I'll show you right here. This is my one dye that I've used my for my Accu quilt dye, this flower here. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then I forgot I bought this um, little dog die here, just a five inch square. I just thought I'd stick that in the corner. But what I'm going to do is you see how it's, it's um, you know, I've just made a little bit of grass out of little, out of a scrap there. I quite like that. Um, it's just uh, simplistic and folky. Um, but what I'm going to do is when I, I'll, 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 I'll stitch these down. And that's what I'm going to, I made out a few, a few more leaves there. Um, I'm just going to um, glue them down with my iron like I did my birds up there. That's all I'm going to have. And then once I glue them down um, with my iron, the, the, the quilt top is done. <laughs> Silly, lovely little quilt. Um, it's done. So I'll, I'll, And then I'll show you, I'll back it and I'll, I'll sandwich it and I'll back it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll free motion quilt around each of the Im images. And I'll probably just do, um, I'll probably just do a, a white um, a, on them all. I'm ready to back my, uh, my bird quilt. And I've just pulled this from, from my, uh, my, from my stash. Just such a, a bright, delightful, I, I got it ages ago. I don't remember, don't remember where I got it from. Um, but I, I just thought it's pretty springy. I'm doing this because it's the spring coming, the winters, the winters, the long cold winter, lovely colors, spring colors. Now, I just wanted to show you, um, when I make my larger quilts, I often have batting left over, as you do. Um, and what I've done, hopefully you can see it here, is I had two pieces of batting. Um, not very wide, but it's perfect for a baby quilt. And, um, but it wasn't long enough. So what I've used, and I've, I've said this, I've, I've shown you this before, but I'm actually doing it now. I'm using this product called Heat Press um, Batting Together. It fuses batting pieces. It's this tape here that uh, it's sticky on one side and then it's you iron it on this side and you just bat you just bat the two pieces of batting together and you know nice you don't want any gap there you just bat you just bat the two pieces together and and um you just iron it 
and boy oh boy it leaves a really lovely um, undetectable really undetectable um, fuse of your battings and there's I don't have to I used to zigzag I almost even sometimes I I had I would would hand stitch it together like with a whip stitch Ugh. That is ridiculous. Um, so I, when I found this, I'm like, oh, and it's and this one, this I think it was like five ninety eight or something. Um, wherever I got it, probably Amazon has it. Um, it go, this is going a tremendously long way, tremendously long way. How much is in here? Um, fifteen yards. Yeah, fifteen yards. I've done a whole bunch of batting. So that's just a little handy hint. It takes two seconds to do it. Your batting's together, and I now have a lovely, nice bit of batting to back my, um, to put my, my quilt. Oh, I'm free motion quilting my images down um, on my quilt. And as you can see here, I've, hopefully you can see, um, I've just quit free motion quilted around my, the, 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 um, the design of the clouds on this fabric here. And then I'll just come, no real rhyme or reason, um, I'm just gonna come where whichever, whichever um, way I hit the, a bird. And I'm just going to, stitch along the about an eighth of an inch and then come back into the wing and go off and then on the actual uh, rick rack I'm just doing a wavy stitch around each branch so um, I'm on this row and I have to come and do these these so I've just done that little bit of a rick rack and then I'll get my free motion quilt and I've just on to the bird And again, this is raw edge applique. So I'm making my stitches. I want to be fairly, well, I can't see where I'm going. I want to be fairly, um, uh, keep my stitches fairly close because it is raw edge. And it will, f if, if it's worn, washed and everything, it will fray um, just to that stitch. So I'll come around here and there's a little cloud um, but the, what I'm saying, it will fray to that stitch, and then it won't fray anymore. Or if, the, if, if, if someone chose it to be, it chose a raw edge applique to be a wall hanging, then I don't think you'd even have to stitch them down. But with, with um, washing and everything, you obviously need to stitch down whatever your method would be, your applique. So now I'm just, as you can see, there's sort of a, a cloud formation there. And then I'll just come to this bird and I'll just sort of jump onto it, stitch his wing on. And then stitch around his head, his beak. And then the, uh, the zigzag or the um, the rick rack and there's another little cloud Let's come here and again it's it's a it's a um, a folky uh, again not perfect <laughs> rendition of birds in, in in a sky. It's just a it's just a a happy you know little quilt. Here's a leaf. Let me just come over onto it. There we go. And I'll finish up this brick rack and then come back. As you can see I come on to my leaf. I'm, I'm just going wherever my needle takes me in some kind of order because I want to make sure that I get my clouds fairly, uh, what would it be, horizontally. I like that one went up, but that's it. That's fine. Now I'm in my sky. And if I, if I can't really see the cloud, I just sort of make one up. Now I'm on to this bird. As you can see the beauty of free motion, you can go forward, you can go backward. You've seen me free motion quilt before. Let me just grab his wing here. 
I'm doing white on everything. Eh, good. I tell you that that um steam a seam really is very very really does hold the the uh, your applique on really really nice. I just I just love it. I have to keep my hands here. I'll come back and do that one. So I'll just continue. Come on to this bird. Oh, I missed a bird. <laughs> Just about a quarter of an inch, I'm um, an eighth of an inch away, just to secure the birds. Go back because I miss this wing. And see, I just go into the body, but again, it's it's fine. And then back onto my sky. And then here's the some rick rack. I like, you know, emphasizing the, the um, rickrack, the branches, uh, along with the sky, the clouds. This will be a real, as you can see, a real dimensional looking quilt. Lots and lots of texture, I should say, not dimensional, texture. We've already done that, so I'll just come back. And as, as I've said before, um, you can see how quickly free motion quilting covers an entire quilt. <laughs> you know, it, it, just, it just covers a quilt beautifully. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way of the camera. in my camera. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a camcorder. I was looking, I went to Best Buy with my husband um, because this camera is a like a, not a point and shoot. I mean, it is a, it's a good camera. It's a Nikon camera. I got it about six, seven years ago, but it's a, it's a camera that has a video taking, um, uh, you know, ability, but it, it, when I often say, you know, it, it's going to shut off, it shuts off after 10 minutes. And obviously I waffle on a lot more than 10 minutes in, in so many segments. And so I'm very aware. So my son, who started me on this whole YouTube thing, he said, Mom, you need a, you need a video camera, a proper, you know, camcorder type of thing. So um, we went to look at them. And I'm still doing my homework on what kind of camcorder to, to get for my little venture here. So here I am. I don't want to bore you. I'm going to finish up this and then I'll show you my... Put that under there. I'll show you um, how I've bound it and I've attached the rickrack. That might have not made a lot of sense when I was telling you about that. But um, it will, I think, when you see it. Okay, so I'm going to finish up here my free motion quilting. And, um, yeah, finish my lovely little quilt. I wanted to show you how I've, um, you might not have understood how I'm going to do this rickrack and the binding. Um, I've actually put my binding on as I do. I put it on the back. I sew it on the back, and then I turn it around to the front. I don't hand stitch my binding. And, again, I make curved corners. But on this quilt, it's a little bit different. With just a little bit of measuring, I change the color of my binding at my corners. If you can see, I'm going to have a yellow binding at the top. If you remember, I'm gonna, I wanted the yellow binding to have like a, um, having a, a paler yellow, um, a, rickrack at the top just to add a little bit of interest and and then on the sides are white to sort of uh you know like the cloud so this is how far i've come along so far um as you can see here's my binding along the side hopefully we can see that and it's it's stitched it's a that's how it looks on the back my machine binding it's a, it's a stitch. Actually, it looks a little bit more professional, I think. Oh, not professional. Um, 
uh, store-bought <laughs> because it's really, I like my bindings really, really firm. I, I cut my bindings at two and a quarter and then I stitch on the back and then turn over to the front. But like I wanted to show you here, um, I'm going to stitch this, this down. I actually did the, um, let me just see if I can bring this around. I actually did the bottom, can you see here, with my binding and my brown rickrack, I've actually stitched my binding to the back, the, the brown binding, and then I've, if you remember, I had one lot of green rickrack on the bottom for like the, 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 the grass, and then my brown rickrack, which I'm going to go and stitch that, stitch these edges up to secure it with the brown um, for, for, for like the soil. And then again, what I've done is you can see on my corners, my curved corners, I've actually attached the brown binding to my white binding because I have my white binding going up the edges. It's just a little bit of a funky interest. Um, so, so um, yeah, so this is how you attach I'm sure you guys have done it. Um, you just keep pulling your binding out nice and firm. This is jumbo rickrack. I like jumbo rickrack. This was medium rickrack. Um, so I just bring it, my, my, my pedal, and I just stitch as, as close to the saw, as close to the edge as I can, catching my rickrack. And I just think it, it I, I just think it, of course, it's, it's a whimsical look. And what I'm sort of going for <laughs> is, is these are the clouds. And the, the brown was the, the soil and the, the yellow is the sunshine at the top. So then I'll... So that's how that ends up looking. I just think it's sweet. Now, what I oops, sorry. What I will do is I'll, I'll because I'm I'm doing the the yellow. Um, I will just tuck this piece. I'll I'll cut that off and I'll just tuck that in and then I'll just start a bit of yellow and I'll go around the curve and I'll go around the top of my quilt. Um, so yeah, so that's how I attach my that's how I attach rickrack to my binding.